Hey YouTubers and toy train lovers. This is an item that I have forgotten about. It was, it's packed way up in the back of my closet. And my friend Nick from Nick's Crossing was showing his 3520 Lionel Lines uh, searchlight car. And I thought, don't I have one of those? And I pulled mine out and it still worked. Worked great. And I'd forgotten that I had this Coca-Cola operating search bottle searchlight car that I bought for Christmas to put around the tree. Thought it would look great and it did and made a really nice box here but here it is up on the track unfortunately my new layout will not permit it to um, go under the mesas or through the bridges of the tunnels and but here it is I don't know if any of you have seen one of these before here's a little polar bear cub that's at the operating you see that there's little sticks and he's got little slides like toggles and he's operating this searchlight car and K-Line did not use the uh, vibrating motors like Lionel did to uh, run their searchlight car and they used a geared axle to spin this wheel so that you have to have it the train actually has to be running you'll see this That can get rather loud and annoying, except when you've got a lot of trains running, you don't even hear it. Lionel's make enough noise <laughs> that you're not going to hear the searchlight car. So I thought I would bring this out and show it to you, because many of you probably never heard of this or seen it before. And this is how it works. I will turn on the, first of all, I'm going to pull off the top of the searchlight on the line L car so it'll be quiet. And we're going to turn this one on, the Coca-Cola searchlight car. And you'll see it lights up in the bottom. And basically what K-Line did is they took their searchlight car, they added the little bear and took away the uh, man who stood there and operated it, put on the Coca-Cola information signage, and added this really beautiful bottle, which of course comes off. There's no way you'd be able to package this. But let me take my other hand and you will see that bottle spin around. Really a shame that it won't run on this
layout, it would wind up, the bottle would wind up falling off or breaking off. But this is the Coca-Cola K-Line Searchlight car. And so maybe you've seen something you've never heard of or seen before. I certainly thought it was a great idea. Uh, they also made it Miller's Beer. And uh, I got it in Coca-Cola because I uh, also had it in a store window. And it was for kids and I didn't want a beer sign. I wanted a Coca-Cola sign. And I also have the uh, Coca-Cola hand car with the uh, pulling the trailer of the big polar bears two of them uh, pumping the hand car and one of them laying in the back of the trailer drinking a coke so they went they went rather well together so this is operating couplers and that's about it it's pretty simple it was a really good idea and I don't know why I haven't seen more of them. I I happen to be in this Western Depot one day, which is a store in Yuba City, California, a train store, and they had one with the K-Line items and I picked it up um, let me see what the price was 30 six dollars so there you go I think it's very cool and uh, I'd forgotten all about it and hadn't put it up with my latest uh, Christmas layouts. And I'll definitely have it up this year. So you'll see it again. So bye-bye. Thanks for watching. And once again, this has been a big lizard production.